excitement you got. This week on Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Crushing It, we are in Pacific, Missouri, home of the original monster truck. The legend that started it all. It is a Ford pickup truck. The strength, it's car crushing shocks. Fresh attack is the original stop and the motivation always be groundbreaking. I'm Bob Chandler. Welcome to Bigfoot Country. What's going on, everybody? We are right outside of St. Louis, Missouri. And you know, when you talk about iconic things in sports, you think about Muhammad Ali in boxing, you think about Babe Ruth in baseball, or Secretariat, the greatest horse ever. When you talk about monster trucks, you think of one truck and one truck only. Boom, Bigfoot. On today's show, we're going to take you for a ride in Bigfoot 5. <laughs> the monster truck yeah. with 10 foot tires. Shh, I might even sneak away and take Bigfoot 19 out for a spin. Don't tell anyone. There I come. Stick around. History is in the <laughs> making. And speaking of history, I'll introduce you to Mr. Bigfoot himself, Bob Chandler, driver and creator of the original monster truck. Hey, you may even see Bigfoot jump an airplane. You never know. So stick around. It's Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. Crushing it. First time I crushed a set of cars with Bigfoot. Drive up and went right over him. I said, that was too easy. I come back around a little slower this time and went up and stop on top. You could hear people laughing and screaming and everything else, you know, because all I did was drive on the cars, you know. The first race that I went to when I actually did a car crash was Pontiac Silverdome. 68,000 people showed up. I went out there to do the car crash and went up on top of the cars and stopped. Well, back then, that's all you did is drove up on the cars and waved to the crowd. Well, at that time, 30,000 people come over the wall and surround us. We couldn't move. Crushing it! The Bigfoot people are the best. Most caring, most professional, most everything. People in and around this sport. And Bob Chandler, who invented what we're doing, monster trucks, unless he turns the key over and runs a car over at the Detroit Silverdome, who knows what we're all doing today. Bob Chandler was always that guy, you know, who started it all. And to see him walk in the door was special, just that. They came out and they took a picture, a group picture. We started walking off of the floor. He put his arm around me and he said, hey, he said, this is all about us. Not just me, you, me, all the guys that have done this for so long. That was a really cool deal. He created this monster. You know, it wasn't for him. It never would happen. You know, somebody had to take a chance. That's the way I look at it, you know, and he did it and, and succeeded. Bigfoot is crucial to what we're doing here at Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. Welcome to the Bigfoot edition of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live, crushing it. You know, before the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Live series was entertaining fans everywhere, Bob Chandler and Bigfoot were crushing cars, rocking arenas, and even jumping over airplanes. In fact, there wouldn't even be monster trucks if it wasn't for the legend himself, Mr. Bob Chandler. When I started out and doing shows, seatbelt and cowboy hat, that was it. From what we started out with as a stock Ford pickup truck, to what it's actually grown into over 43 or 44 years, it just amazes me. I've done a lot, and what I've done has been for the fans and for me too. Bigfoot. Most everybody seems to know Bigfoot. Big tires, Bigfoot. So I put a little name on the side of the door, call it Bigfoot. And it's stuck. We start going everywhere. Every weekend, we'd, we'd be invited to go somewhere. At one time, we were doing over a 1,000 bookings a year. 
first time I crossed a set of cars with Bigfoot. Drive up and went right over him. I said, that was too easy. I come back around a little slower this time and went up and stopped on top. You could hear people laughing and screaming and everything else, you know, because all I did was drive on the cars, you know. The first race that I went to when I actually did a car crash was Pontiac Silverdome. 68,000 people showed up. I went out there to do the car crash and went up on top of the cars and stopped. Well, back then, that's all you did is drove up on the cars and waved to the crowd. Well, at that time, 30,000 people come over the wall and surround us. We couldn't move. We had a promoter call us and said, we want you to jump over a 727 airplane. It took spectacular to see. The explosions they had to make it more spectacular. It was great. I went to Pontiac Silverdome one time with eight tires on the truck. We always tried new things with trucks. We kept people interested in it. It still amazes me when people come in and they want your autograph. They say, you really want the truck's autograph, not mine, but I sign the autographs. The legend that started it all, Bigfoot! That was my idol. One of the most technologically advanced trucks in the world. And he hands me the keys and says, go race it. If you break it, we'll fix it. That's kind of the dynamic of working for Bigfoot. As a kid, I'd say, you know, Christian Norman, Big Bigfoot, you know, you know, like the crowd and everything. To now be involved and be a driver for Bigfoot is an incredible honor. Watching Bob Chandler on TV all the time, seeing him interview about Bigfoot, I never thought in a million years that I'd actually be in the seat of a Bigfoot, but here I am. Bob has been an ambassador of the sport from day one. He wants us all to succeed, and he's done that throughout the 40-something years of business we've done. He comes in here to work every day. He's a part of the family. He supports us. He jokes with us. It's not just about Bigfoot to him. It's about having a good group of guys. Well, I work for my hero. <laughs> it goes from taking your TV star hero to being your, he's your buddy now. It's, it's, it's unreal. This is my office. I've kept a lot of the memorabilia stuff, but I could fill a couple rooms with all the stuff that I had over the years. I gotta look around because there's so much here. Reminds me of old, the old days. To me, all the things that have busted over the year, from pistons to thousand dollar axles that were guaranteed not to break, and we broke them. That's the axle we have made for Bigfoot One. See what happens when you got a Bigfoot? This was kind of neat in the back cover of Car and Driver magazine, they did an article. We're racing in the series and we dominated it. They, they banned us for six months. That's basically a 3D model of a chassis that we put together. Kind of shows how it's set up, how it works. A lot of memorabilia here. It still ceases to amaze me what's happened to the industry and the Bigfoot. It's on TV, it's, it's worldwide. We've been in 26 countries been in eight movies. It's just been a lot of fun. Why Bigfoot's here is because of the employees, the drivers I've had over the years. Bigfoot. All the results and all the positive things that we've done over the years is just, I think it's the greatest thing in the world. And I don't know where it's going from here. It still amazes me the crowd and the fan base that we have. It's phenomenal. Next, we'll introduce you to Bigfoot One, the original. Then we'll take a look at the quietest monster truck in the world. I'll explain and ride in Bigfoot Five, the tallest monster truck ever. But as we go to break, let's look at what Bigfoot does best, crush cars. Something about it, just the, the sound of the trucks and how, how they can just crush over cars. I just loved it and it stuck with me. A lot of people ask me, it's like, well, what do you want to do when you grow up? It's like, well, I want to be a monster truck driver. That's my dream. 
I would get a piece of paper and a pencil and just write my own monster truck and, you know, write Storm and Norman on the side of it. It's Christian Storm and Norman, Hot Wheels Racing number one. For years, I was told that it's not gonna happen, dude. Just go find another profession. You don't just call somebody up and say, hey, you wanna drive a monster truck? Yeah, I'll put you in a monster truck. Doesn't happen, I'm telling you. I didn't know one end from a screwdriver than the other. So literally learning from the bottom and then just working your way up, it's so awesome to just look around and think, man, like right here is, is what I worked so hard for. If you have it in you to want to go get it and want to be a monster truck driver, you absolutely can. Hot Wheels Racing number one. If you have a dream, you have a goal that you can feel inside, you gotta demand it. You gotta know it in yourself that if you want it, you gotta go get it. Crushing it. My first truck is my baby. It's been through a lot. When you talk about iconic things in all of motorsports and you hear the word Bigfoot, you think monster trucks. This is the original. This is Bigfoot One. This is the baby of the fleet. This is the original. This is the one that started the whole industry. It kind of gives me goosebumps, I'm not gonna lie to you. Can I start this thing? Sure, why not? Let's do this. I was born for this. <sighs> yes, sir. Now I have no idea what to do. AJ, <laughs> where you at, man? Hold on, I'm coming. Are you kidding me right now? How cool is this? When you go to start it, you'll pull the power on, you'll turn the key on. Okay. You will put one hand on this on and off switch. Okay. And there is a button over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a lot of moving parts. <laughs> God, I hope I don't screw this up. Me too. I'm gonna need a new job. Pulling this out, turning the key, pumping the gas. One, two. Good. Hitting the button. Now on. Where is AJ? So he was going to meet me here like 10 minutes ago. Nothing. Hey, Tommy, what's up, man? Holy smokes. AJ, what is this? This is the one and only electric powered monster truck. That was incredible. I snuck right up on you, didn't I? The thing will make somewhere around 1,000 horsepower. It's crazy. Wait a minute. Batteries can make 1,000 horsepower. Absolutely. So why did you build one? We love to be the first at everything. You know? right, right. We were the first to put 66s on a truck. We were the first to put 10 foot tall tires on a truck. Right. Why not be the first to build an electric truck? So what's an application of an electric truck though? Like what do you do? Is it really just for show or do you Well, I'll tell you what, we did a lot of stuff with uh, autism because those children obviously, it's, it doesn't have the, the loudness and everything that sure. sometimes throws their senses off. It'll perform and do the same things that one of our one of our methanol powered trucks will. Hey, AJ, man, thank you so much for showing me this awesome truck. My man. pleasure, man. I mean, the future of monster trucks. You never know what's coming up. Oh, Bigfoot number five, the world's heaviest and largest truck ever built. I mean, this thing is a legend all to itself. Look at these tires, ten foot tall tires. I mean, I could climb in the wheel wheel like this, and there's still plenty of room. I don't know about you guys, but I say we take this bad boy for a ride. Let's do it. Here's your typical day of climbing 10 foot tires. Y'all wanna come along? Let's do this, man. All right, you rolling? Man! <laughs> It's a whole new meaning to four wheeling, brother. Yeah, it does. But we're on top of the world right here. <laughs> yeah! She's getting knocked all around back there. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh. It's a little rough ride, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> 
<laughs> we landed! Bob, that was awesome, man. We were on top of the world. We own the road, dude. Let's give it up. Dude, are you all right back there? I mean, I saw you bouncing around the back of that truck. Are you okay? I was everywhere in that truck bed. My shot is so bad. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. Bigfoot, another victim. Crushing it! As long as I can remember, I've wanted to drive a monster truck. I never thought, growing up a poor farm kid in South Dakota, that I'd be driving the legendary big truck. And I lived out of the trunk of my car for six to eight months, going to show to show, team to team. At the end of that, I was flat broke, living on mom and dad's couch again as a 20-something year old, going, is it really worth it? I used to be the guy that would walk up with the paper and my hands would shake because those were my heroes. I loved monster trucks. So I actually climbed in the seat of the truck that I watched as a kid and lit it up. Darren Snell in Bigfoot! That's when it kind of hit me of, I'm driving Bigfoot. And it's something that I can't describe how cool a feeling that is. Crushing it! Once a year out here in Pacific, Missouri, home of Bigfoot, the Bigfoot folks open their doors for an open house so everybody can come and enjoy all the Bigfoot trucks and all the other monster trucks that show up to have a good time. Welcome to Open House at Bigfoot. This is a great event. Everyone I meet that is a true Bigfoot fan is here. It's so much fun. So what's your favorite thing about Bigfoot? You guys have been following him for a long time. What's your favorite thing about him? He's big. He's bad. He's the original. Oh my! This is awesome! Whatever truck you like in the monster truck world, I mean, this is it. This is a place where you got to go in and check out number one. Go on, Wheels. This is open house is awesome. There's people everywhere. It's it's phenomenal. Without the fans, we wouldn't be here today. It's it's incredible. I mean, there's people here from everywhere. They came all the way here to Pacific just for this open house. <laughs> it's neat to see them. I'm talking to a lot of people, and uh, I love it. When we started, we thought, man, this is going to be something else. And look at it now. We love talking to every single fan, whether they're three years old, 30 years old. We're 90 years old. And you have fans of all ages. That's exactly it, man. That's so, it, man. This is so cool. Bigfoot being part of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. What an awesome tour, but being part of Hot Wheels, I mean, that's iconic in itself. It is. That's a big deal for us. I mean, it came along this past year, and, and to be able to have our Hot Wheels branded toy with the Bigfoot on it again, yeah, it's pretty cool. We love Bigfoot! We love Bigfoot! Okay, honestly, was that not the coolest day ever? We got to hang out with Bigfoot. It started right there with Bob Chandler. Heck, we got to hang out with Bigfoot One, the original monster truck. And we got to ride in Bigfoot Five, 10 foot tall tires. Are you kidding me? The history of Bigfoot is all around these walls everywhere. When we talk about monster trucks, one name comes to mind, and that's Bigfoot. Hey fans, you want to see Bigfoot live and up close in person? Donuts, wheelies, crushing cars? Here's the fall schedule. For more information, visit Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live.com. Bigfoot 19, right here. You know what? There's nobody else around. I say we take it for a spin. Are you in?
Yeah, I know. We got a long day ahead of us, so. We have a There's ton of broken these, parts. We have so right much here. to fix. Dude, where'd my truck go? I left it right here. Tommy! <laughs> We get to design our own Hot Wheels monster truck at Mattel, the number one global toy company. Ooh, this is awesome. We get to visit Victory Junction, a camp for children with serious or chronic medical conditions in Demo Derby. And, whoa, look out. I get to be a Hot Wheels monster truck's live super fan. I cannot wait for that. See you next week on Hot Wheels monster truck's live crushing it. Oh, this is awesome. Go big!